Hello everyone. My name is Slavon Kumar Guho and in this talk I will walk you through the interstellar medium. But what exactly is the interstellar medium? If you notice carefully the word interstellar has two parts. Inter and stellar. The prefix inter means in between while the word stellar is related to the stars. A medium is something that lies in the middle or between other things. Therefore, the interstellar medium is anything that lies between the stars in a galaxy. But how do we study the interstellar medium? For that, we use an extremely powerful technique used in the field of observational astronomy known as spectroscopy. To give you a brief idea how it works, consider the diagram shown here. Suppose a ray of light from a background source passes through a cloud of gas and then reaches here. I hope you know that if you pass white light through a prism, it gets decomposed into different colors according to their wavelengths and you obtain something known as the continuous spectrum. Now, if you do the same experiment with the light that is coming out of this cloud of gas, you will find a few dark lines present in your otherwise continuous spectrum. These dark lines are called absorption lines. And these absorption lines can reveal a great deal of information about the intervening cloud of gas. Like the composition of this cloud of gas and their physical state like the temperature and density. So what does spectroscopy tell us about the ISM? It tells you that ISM is primarily composed of gas and dust. About 99% of the ISM mass is in the gas, while only 1% is in the dust. Of the gas in the ISM, by mass, 70% is in hydrogen, 20% is in helium, and 2% being in elements heavier than hydrogen or helium, known as metals. The interstellar dust, however, is nothing like what you will find under your bed. The interstellar dust are very tiny particles with sizes typically of one micron and are thought to be composed of silicates, solid carbons, and hydrocarbons. Observationally, it has also been found that ISM is multiphase. The ISM contains a number of phases characterized by different temperature and densities and ionization fractions. And these phases are cold neutral phase having temperature less than 300 Kelvin, warm phase having temperature of the order 10 to the power 4 Kelvin, and the hot ionized phase having temperature of the order 10 to the power 6 Kelvin. Now you can ask me that so ISM is just a multiphase medium composed of gas and dust lying between the stars. But, but is it really worth the attention to that? I would say absolutely, because ISM in a way regulates the galaxy evolution through something known as the star gas star cycle. So let me explain you how the interstellar medium kind of regulates the evolution of galaxy. Let's start at the high atomic hydrogen clouds. As I already told you, the ISM has lots and lots of atomic hydrogen. From this atomic hydrogen, molecular hydrogen clouds are formed. And these clouds collapse under gravity and finally lead to the formation of new stars. The nuclear fusion occurring in these stars produce the heavier elements like carbon, oxygen, iron, etc. in the stars. When the stars die, they throw this material out to the ISM. These ejected materials are again used for the formation of new stars through this same circle. cycle. This cycle continues and continues and with each cycle, more heavy elements are made by the nuclear fusion in stars thereby enriching the galaxies. Also, this cycle provides a negative feedback to the star formation and this feedback plays a crucial role in the evolution of galaxies. So this is how the ISM 
regulates the galaxy evolution. Apart from that, on a side note, I just want to tell you that without ISM, there would not be any star formed. And consequently, there would not have been any life in the universe. That's why ISM is really important uh, to study and understand because not only it controls the galaxy evolution, but without ISM, probably we would not have been here. Thanks for your attention. That's all I had to say about the interstellar medium. Thank you.